It was the first object from outside our solar system to come into proximity with us. Its incredible speed indicated it was unbound by the sun's gravity. When the James Webb Space Telescope captured the first genuine image of Aumuamua, the astronomical community was captivated. After years filled with speculation, simulations, artistic interpretations, and indirect observations, we finally glimpsed our interstellar visitor through one of the most advanced instruments ever created for space exploration. Launched in December 2021, the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, aims to observe deep space, unveiling the earliest galaxies and studying exoplanet atmospheres. However, while journeying across the universe, it shifted its focus to a remnant from another star system, Aumuamua. Before we proceed, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more updates. Discovered in 2017 by astronomers at the Pan Stars Telescope in Hawaii, Aumuamua quickly distinguished itself from any known asteroid or comet. Its trajectory confirmed that it was not influenced by the Sun's gravity, making it the first confirmed object from interstellar space to traverse our solar system. As it raced past Earth, moving too rapidly for the Sun to capture it, it left a trail of curious questions in its wake. Its fluctuating brightness suggested a cigar-like shape or perhaps something flatter, like a pancake. Yet, its acceleration couldn't solely be attributed to gravity. Speculations ranged from icy outgassing to more exotic theories, but without an image, conclusions remained elusive. Finally, the James Webb Space Telescope, with its exceptional sensitivity to infrared light and precise resolution, directed its focus towards this enigmatic visitor. Even though Aumuamua had passed through the inner solar system years ago, the telescope's capabilities enabled it to analyze and image this faint, distant object. The resulting image not only provided clarity but also reshaped our understanding. What had once been a mystery wrapped in speculative models now possessed a real form, texture, and tangible presence in scientific history. The image unveiled a remarkably unique object, elongated yet irregular and asymmetrical, contrary to previous estimates. Its surface exhibited features unlike those found on any known asteroids or comets in our solar system. There were no obvious jets or tails like those seen on comets, nor the smooth, cratered surface typical of familiar asteroids. Instead, Webb's image revealed what appeared to be layered strata, as if the object had formed in a distant planetesimal system, influenced by unknown processes. Perhaps even more compelling was the material composition indicated by the telescope's infrared spectroscopy. Signs of carbon-based compounds were present, but they differed from those usually found in comets or asteroids. The spectral signature resembled tholines, complex organic molecules produced under cosmic radiation, often seen on distant icy bodies like Pluto or Saturn's moon Titan. This strongly suggested that Aumuamua had traveled for eons through the interstellar medium, with its surface chemistry altered by years of exposure to galactic cosmic rays. This first real image carried significance beyond mere scientific intrigue. It established a vital connection between theory and observation, providing a foundational reference point for all models that had previously attempted to define this object. For years, astronomers debated whether it was a fragment of a larger entity, an unusual hydrogen iceberg, a nitrogen slab, or even alien technology itself. Many theories relied heavily on scant data. Although Webb's image didn't resolve every controversy, it significantly reduced uncertainty, presenting a more comprehensive understanding of the object's physical structure and potential origins. Scientists meticulously examined each pixel of the image and associated data, uncovering subtle irregularities on its surface that hinted at a violent history. The ridges and grooves on Aumuamua's surface suggested collisional processes, perhaps even a catastrophic event during its early years in a distant star system that hurled it into the void. These characteristics provided robust evidence that Aumuamua was not a solitary rock but likely a fragment from a much larger celestial body.
possibly a dwarf planet or moon shattered in its home system. This implication alone is profound. If Aumuamua was once part of a differentiated world, with layers and perhaps geological activity, it suggests active, dynamic processes in distant systems, violent enough to eject fragments over light years of space. The fact that such a shard collided with our solar system gives us direct evidence of the turbulent nature of planetary systems beyond our own. Additional insights emerged from the way sunlight interacted with its surface in the infrared spectrum. The observed reflection pattern of Oumuamua during its gradual rotation revealed uneven albedo variations. Certain areas reflected more light than others, indicating a diverse surface that is partially covered in dust while some sections remain bare. This observation could suggest possibilities of either surface erosion or layering, or that the object may have approached other stars or cosmic entities, impacting its exterior. The precise imagery provided by the James Webb Space Telescope significantly enhanced our understanding of the object's rotational behavior. Earlier projections had indicated that Oumuamua tumbled chaotically through space, rotating along multiple axes. However, the updated data enabled astronomers to discern the subtle flickers of light and shadow cast across its irregular surface, confirming the non-principal axis rotation similar to a poorly thrown football wobbling through the air. This motion reinforced the theory of a past collision or disruptive event. An impactful force may have sent the object into its complex rotation before propelling it into vast emptiness. Gaining a detailed view of Oumuamua altered scientists' approaches toward future interstellar encounters. Its significance extended beyond that of this singular object. It provided insight into the dynamic histories of entire solar systems. The information gathered from this image sparked a wave of recalibration in planetary formation models. If this type of object existed between stars, it hinted at the existence of trillions more, each holding unique geological and chemical stories of their celestial origins. The universe, in a sense, had delivered us a message in a bottle intelligible through our most advanced tools. Beyond the scientific ramifications, witnessing Oumuamua offered something profoundly human. It symbolized a connection to the universe that transcended our immediate celestial vicinity. This object originated from an unknown star, formed through foreign processes, and after potentially millions or billions of years, it ventured close enough for our observation. We didn't merely detect it, we truly saw it. The telescope, a remarkable feat of engineering and global collaboration, focused its golden mirrors on a fleeting speck, bringing it into clear view for all humanity, not just scientists. As astronomers debated the image's nuances, was that a fracture or merely an optical illusion? Were those surface hollows craters or places where volatile compounds had evaporated, one conclusion stood out. Oumuamua was unlike any other entity in our solar system. It was not merely an object of curiosity. It represented a scientific revolution encapsulated in a single frame. The James Webb Telescope achieved more than capturing a photograph. It immortalized a moment in the universe's narrative. A frozen traveler that had escaped its gravitational ties and roamed through interstellar emptiness until it caught the attention of Earth-based observers. The timing of this image also felt almost poetic. Astronomy was on the brink of a new golden era, where exoplanet discoveries became routine and the pursuit of extraterrestrial life intensified. Observing Oumuamua closely served as a reminder that the universe still held mysteries to unveil. Beyond every detection lay potential surprises, emphasizing that the cosmos is not merely nonchalant background to our solar system's tale, but an arena where alien dramas unfold. The image transformed abstract concepts into reality. Previously, Oumuamua existed largely within numerical data and artistic renderings. Now, it became tangible. People could visualize its shape, shadows, and surface textures. 
For students, enthusiasts, and researchers, it provided something that written texts and theories could never offer an anchor for their imagination. This image firmly established interstellar space within the domain of scientific reality, affirming years of astronomical commitment and demonstrating the effectiveness of the Webb telescope. It reminded everyone of the limitless possibilities that await when we gaze upward, not only in terms of discoveries but also in the methods we employ. The achievement of imaging Oumuamua established a benchmark for tracking and observing faint, swiftly moving interstellar objects. With this success under their belts, astronomers can refine their techniques, modify observation schedules, and prepare for the next cosmic visitor, as Oumuamua is unlikely to be the last. Globally, telescopes and space-based platforms are adjusting their alert systems in anticipation. New Wide Field Survey Telescopes like the Vera Rubin Observatory will start scanning the skies with unmatched frequency and precision, likely uncovering numerous additional interstellar travelers. If you found this video interesting, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We invite your comments below. What do you think about Oumuamua's image? Do you suspect it might be alien technology? We eagerly want to hear your perspectives. Thanks for